Arsenal send you a, a text. Sydney, they're obviously phenomenal. So how do you approach that one? Yeah, they're a great team. Um, up around the best in the comp. Look, we're all starting fresh, aren't we? With 3-0. Look, both teams are in reasonable form. There's a lot being written, but in the day, each team's only won three games. It's not like we're coming in 13-0 each. So, look, yeah, we're preparing as we normally would, you know, trying to improve our football, acknowledge the opposition, always you're trying to maximise your strengths, take away theirs, minimise your weaknesses, those sort of things. So, look, we've got a final training session today. We're all pretty fit and healthy. Um, but, you know, you, keep, you hold your breath until you get through. Huh? Yeah, it's strong, you know, both teams have been up around, you know, in the finals contention for a fair period and, um, you know, clearly Hawthorns have been able to get it done. So, um, yeah, we come in with no excuse, but we understand um, that the calibre goes up and it's going to be a really difficult assignment. They travel well, good teams win anywhere, they're a good team. So, yeah, we're under no illusions how difficult it's going to be. Um, but. It, it's a strong, you hear it. It's a strong test of of our football, and you know you need you know you need stress. You need to be tested to improve. So we see it as an opportunity to improve, and that's that's really our our focus. We need to keep improving, really every time we train and, and play to to get to where we want to go. So um, th that's quite simply our focus: improve our football. What are you trying to do with Buddy? Do you try to keep him outside the 50 and you know, try to keep him close to Coles? What's the best way to try and curtail what he does? Well, we can't put a chain on him and just keep him certain parts of the ground. We just, we'll just have to defend him at the right time and you know, not be a total slave trying to attack him at the right time. So he moves around a bit. He, he's been a f proven top-level performer for a long period of time. I mean, that's why he was in demand. Then he gets paid what he gets paid because he's a great player. So, um, again, the focus is going to be on clean or dirty ball in you know if it's clean ball in and it's lace out well good luck you know so but yeah we're certainly here to attack the game and take it on and we'll respect buddy but it, it won't be all our energies would, would you put one allocated defender to lock down buddy for the whole time or just did you change depending on where he goes and how that's structured yeah that's a good point um last week we you know, basically when with Kennedy, we'll hand over probably certain parts of the ground or it's to be finalised. But it's it's the decision. Do you lock him down with Johnson or McFarlane or do you roll over at certain parts of the ground? Typically, most teams roll over these days, typically. So that's about you keeping your structures and, and the way you want to sort of... Um, yeah, that's why. Ground. Yeah. Because you could blink and Luke McFarlane could be playing on a wing. If you said Luke go over with Buddy Franklin, well, next minute Luke's playing wing because Buddy can play the wing. Do we want Luke on the wing? Probably not. You know. So, how much do you look back at the qualifying final, or how much do you just shelve it? And given the two sides are probably yeah, not too much. Look, all teams take notes on what happened, tactics and strategies. But it was a unique. Look, it was a wet day. Um, different, different personnel. Um, yeah, but we'll have a look. There's some reminders there. There's no doubt about it. I mean, there's some constant. Stephen Hill will get tagged, so we know that, you know. You know, Buddy's a threat and all those sort of things. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll go to school on it a little bit. We'll certainly, again, the focus has been on us and our footy and um, less on the opposition than we used to do. But um, in saying that, you know, we, we've scouted them and um, we've had a good look at them. Ross, what's the plan with Silvani this week? He'll train today. You expect him to play? Well, I'm not right up with it. I think he's a chance. Yeah, he's training today, so normally they have to do a full week of training and then play, but I think because of circumstance, he's done a fair bit of one-to-one -one football, so I think at the end of today's session, we'll know more. And Sheridan, Ross, where's, where's he at? Yeah, he'll train today. Yeah, he'll train today and get through, so I think he, if he gets through, he'll be available for selection. You played so well on the weekend. Um, you make changes? I mean, Tendo is an absolute luxury, isn't he sitting at Peel Thunder trying to get a spot in the team? Yeah, I don't know if it's an absolute luxury. At the end of the day, Tendo's been injured and he's come back and he's available and, um, you know, in the past he's been a good player for us, so we respect Tendo, so, but the incumbent's doing the job. But yeah, you do need to look at the balance of the team, you know, so if we, there's no automatic the same 22 rolls out just because you win, I mean. I do like, and we all like to reward performance, but sometimes you're going to make some hard decisions. And 
um, as one player said to me, I don't envy you being the coach when it's like this, you've got to make some hard decisions. But that's our job.